Good morning, Rock Cut. This is Mr. Anakey with your morning announcements. Each morning, we start off with a moment of mindfulness. During our moment of mindfulness, it's our chance to be calm, focus our attention on our breathing, bring our attention to our thoughts or what we're feeling at that moment. But it's really about being in the moment and being aware of what's going on right now. As you enjoy this moment of silence, just notice any thoughts that come into your head. And if they do, recognize them as thoughts. And then return your attention to your breathing. Today's day is April 21st, 2022. There are 27 days left in the school year. Today is an E-Day, so make sure you check your schedule for what you have going on on E-Day. The E in E-Day stands for equity. It's important to remember why we talk about equity. Equity is making sure that everyone gets what they need in order to be successful. That means that different people have different needs. And each person should be able to have access to what they need in order to be successful. So therefore, we focus on equity because it matters to each person. This week's focus is feelings in my body. In order to truly recognize what feelings you're having, it takes a lot of practice. And one of the best things you can do is recognize where feelings are showing up in your body. So like when you feel angry and you feel all hot, when you feel happy and you feel light, or when you feel sad and you feel kind of sunken down, paying attention to those will help you recognize those feelings in the future. Today, for Autism Acceptance Month, we're looking at a pair of individuals. On the left, we have Nikola Tesla, a very famous inventor, a very famous, very brilliant man, uh, notable for lots of things with electricity and lots of different theories. And on the right, we have Elon Musk, who Uh, Also very brilliant, exploring space, but started a car company called Tesla, named after Nikola Tesla. Today's random act of kindness, share an inspiring story with a friend. Uh, An inspiring story is something that kind of builds you up and gives you hope for the future. Some people have inspiring stories of their own to share, of a time that they overcame something, and other you, or maybe you've just heard an inspiring story. Either way, sharing that with a friend will help give them hope. Some reminders for the playground. Remember, no equipment from home, and keep your hands, feet, and your body to yourself. We need to be safe at all times. Happy birthday, Stasia. I hope you're having a great day. Today's lunch menu includes corn dogs, potato wedges, mango wango juice, fresh fruit, and fruit cup. Everyone, please rise and join us for the pledge and the creed. We'll be doing the Spanish version first. Followed by the English version. And stay standing for our daily creed. Each one of you makes Rock Cut a better place to be.